Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have f of x squared minus x minus 3, which is the domain of this function, equals x power of 4 minus 7x. And we are interested to get f of x given this function. I'll be solving this question in two different ways. Let's consider the solution. In the first method, if I let x power of 2 minus x minus 3 to be equals 0. So at this point, we have x squared to be equals x plus 3. This is what we are going to have. And next, let's say we need x to the power of 4 here. If I raise both sides of this equation by 2, we have x squared raised to power 2 equals x plus 3 raised to the power of 2. And next, we have x power 2 raised to the power 2. According to the rule of indices, we have this as x power 4. This equals, by expanding x plus 3 squared, we have it as x squared plus 6x plus 9. And again, x to the power of 2 is given as x plus 3. By replacing this, we have x power 4 equals, instead of x squared, we change it to x plus 3 plus 6x plus 9. And then we have x power 4 equals x plus 6x. This gives us 7x plus 3 plus 9, that is 12. And at the other side there, we have x squared minus 7. By transferring 7x to this side, we have x power 4 minus 7x equals 12. So this is very interesting. At the other side, we have x power 4 minus 7x, which everything equals 12. Therefore, we are going to have f of, instead of x squared minus x minus 3, we change it to f of 0. Because it is the one we use to get uh, x raised to the power 4 minus 7x equals 12. Then everything equals 12. So this is just as simple as the fixed method is. You like what you see? So let's get into the second method. This is the one that uh, will blow your mind. So let's get into it. For the second method, again, if I let x power of 2 minus x minus 3 equals 0, I want to find the value of x by applying the quadratic method to get the value of x. We know from here, the coefficient of x squared is 1, b is minus 1, and c also is minus 3. Applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals minus b plus or minus the root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is what we have. And uh, let's substitute. Substituting, we have 1 plus or minus the square root of the whole of this becomes 13. Then divided by 2. And again, we have two values of x. This is 1 plus root 13 over 2. And we also have x equals 1 minus root 13 over 2. These are the two values that we have. But we're interested to get f of 0. And f of 0 must be a single value. Must be a single value function. Since we have two values of x, we have to consider which of these will satisfy this. But both of them must satisfy it. But we have to check which, how both of them are equals to each other. Suppose I let the first one here equals m. If m equals 1 plus root 13 over 2, and I let n to be equals 1 minus root 13 divided by 2. 
So what we are going to be getting here is, since we have let x squared minus x plus 3 equals 0, and what we need is f of 0, so therefore we are going to have f of 0 to be equals, I'm replacing every single s with m. So the other side becomes m raised to the power 4 minus 7m. And also, the second one will also becomes f of 0 equals n raised to the power 4 minus 7n. But we have to prove that these two are equal. How can we prove this? It's very simple. First is, we have to apply some properties of quadratic roots. The quadratic given root. Suppose I want to find m plus n in the quadratic above. So for every sum of roots, which is m plus n, this gives us 1. And for every m n, this gives us minus 3. The formula I use is m plus n is b divided by minus b over a and m n is c divided by a. So when we apply that, we are going to get this. So in the next step, we want to show that these two are equal. But first, let's find m squared plus n squared and see the equivalence value of it. So for m squared plus n squared, the formula is m plus n all squared minus 2mn. But we have our m plus n which is given as 1 squared minus 2 into bracket of minus 3. And with this, we have everything to be 7. That is m squared minus plus n squared. And then, if you let f of 0 equals f of 0. So therefore, we are going to have m raised to the power 4 minus 7m equals n raised to the power 4 minus 7n. So by collecting this, we have m raised to the power 4 minus n raised to the power 4 equals, so we take this one here, we have 7m minus 7n. I want to prove that both of them are equal. So to show that, let's treat m square minus m raised to the power 4 minus n raised to the power 4 first. So treating this separate, we have m raised to the power 2 all raised to the power 2 minus n raised to the power 2 all raised to the power 2. Difference of 2 squared. So this gives us m squared minus n squared multiplied by m squared plus n squared. But m squared plus n squared is given as 7. So we have m squared minus n squared then multiply by 7. And here, m squared minus n squared as well, we call it m plus n, m minus n. And m plus n is given as 1. So therefore, everything here is gives us 7 into bracket of m minus n. So the result of m raised to power 4 minus n raised to power 4, it gives us 7 into bracket of m plus n. So which is the same thing as 7m minus 7n. So which shows that these two sides are equal. So when these two sides are equal, then it shows that we can take any of the root. Any of the root that we take, it will give us f of 0. So therefore, we are going to take, let's say I take when x equals 1 plus root 13 divided by 2. So we can also take 1 minus root 13 divided by 2, any one we want. So then we are going to find x raised to power 2, that is expanding this. We have 1 plus root 13 divided by 2, all raised to the power of 2. So the expansion of this gives us 1 plus 2 root 13. So we have this as 2 root 13 divided by 2, then plus 13, all divided by 4. So here we have add 1 plus 13 together, then divide by 4. So everything here gives us 7 plus root 13 divided by 2. So this is for x squared. Then let's find x raised to the power 4. So for x raised to the power 4, we have 7 raised to the power 2 plus 14 multiplied by root 3 plus 13 divided by 4. And here we have 7 raised to the power 2, that is 49, 
and 49 plus 13 this gives us 62 plus 14 root 13 divided by 4 and in the next step we are going to divide everything by 2 so this gives us 31 plus here gives us 7 root 13 divided by 2 so this is the result of x raised to power 4 and also we have to find 7x as well so 7x will give us 7 into bracket of 1 plus root 13 divided by 2 and here we have it as 7 plus 7 root 13 all divided by 2 so by subtracting this from each other we are going to have x raised to power 4 minus 7x equals so x raised to power 4 is giving us 31 plus 7 root 13 divided by 2 then we have minus 7 minus 7 root 13 divided by 2 so therefore plus 7 cancel this gives us 31 minus 7 plus 7 root 13 minus 7 root 13 all divided by 2 this cancelled so 31 minus 7 that is 24 over 2 and 24 over 2 equals 12 so therefore f of 0 it gives us 12 so this is how i solve this in another method which one do you prefer and do you have any other method of solving this you can drop it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to this channel share your thoughts and uh, see you in the next video never stop learning those who stop learning stop living bye bye